honestly speaking, yeah, I think it's probably from a laboratory. It's man-made, and it was. I think most people uh, believe that the virus are from uh, the laboratory, not from natural source. All of, I mean, most people don't believe that it is uh, from nat nature. You know, there is also this thing about bioweapon, right? And that's <laughs> also believed like widely, and. People do talk about viruses that, uh, that are made by people. On April the 31st, the President of the United States said he had evidence that COVID-19 originated in a laboratory in Wuhan. But this is nothing new. It's something a lot of people have been saying for a long time. Before Trump said, before Trump, Trump said in the, the news yesterday, I yes. mean, uh, most Vietnamese people don't believe it is um, an accident from nature. Why not? Because um, we uh, kind of always uh, think that uh, China have some... Uh, I mean, you, okay. you think they have a secret agenda? Yeah, I think so. And it, it's, it may not necessarily come from that lab, but, but yeah. And there are so many other conspiracies. There's certainly no shortage of conspiracy theories. They never landed on the moon. The moon's an alien spaceship. Marilyn Monroe was murdered. And 9-11 was an inside job. But most people don't buy into those kinds of conspiracy theories. Why is this one different? Because the logic goes like this, like, you know, uh, if for thousands of years, you know, if they've been eating all that, how did it like come suddenly and that there is a laboratory in Wuhan as well. Of course, there are also plenty of people who believe that there's no sinister agency at work here at all. Maybe it was just a virus that leaked from animals and spread to humans and um, everyone is doing as much as they can to contain the virus. So I don't actually believe it's a bioweapon or a um, tool of mass destruction. For me, you know, like, at, at this point, mm. all I do is listen and listen and listen because right. I'm not a scientist. Alan's perfectly right. We're not scientists. We're teachers. What I like to do in these videos is focus on our responsibilities as teachers in the face of various theories concerning the origin of coronavirus COVID-19.